The Vanderbilt Commodores. Clark Lee's second season. Uh, there are things to be helpful for. There, I mean, there are, really. But you look at last year, and uh, let me change that back over again. Uh, Clark Lee like went 2-10 and 10 last year. And while there's not a lot of hope as far as the offense goes, I do expect the defense to improve in year two under him. Uh, they brought in Nick Howell, the defense coordinator. Uh, he was the D.C. at Virginia and at BYU under Bronco Mendenhall. Um, their postgame win expectancy last year was .93, so less than one win, and they were able to get two. So that's obviously a step in the right direction. That's that's good. They're number 27 in returning production in the country, uh, number 25 on defense, number 40 on offense. Uh, we're going to start off on the offensive side of the ball. I mean, it just the numbers... The numbers on both sides are pitiful. Uh, but they were, you know, at least somewhat uh, disciplined, I guess you could say. Number 33 in penalties per game. Uh, they were number 85 in turnover margin, so probably need to fix that. But let's start off with the offense. The offense coordinator, Joey Lynch, is his first year as OC. Uh, he was the passing game coordinator and the quarterback's coach, and he, he started calling the plays towards the end of the season last year. Uh, he was the OC at Colorado State and at Ball State before, so he's got experience in this role. Everything was bad last year. Everything. All of it was bad. Uh, at quarterback, like, is it Wright or is it Seals? Uh, I think Wright really gave him a spark towards the end of last year. Uh, Seals did start both of their wins. Offensive line is probably going to be a mess. You got four players with 391-plus snaps, but no experience behind them at all. Uh, Brammer from North Texas may be their best offensive lineman, uh, and him coming in, of course, as a, an immediate transfer. Uh Running back Davis, wide receiver Shepard are both good. Like, if you can actually have time to throw the ball, if you have a little bit of protection, anything from that offensive line, you got some decent skill position guys that can make some plays. So maybe that's something to build on here. Going over to the defensive side, I told you about Nick Howell. He was the D.C. at Virginia and BYU under Bronco. Uh, Biggest weakness, pass rush. They only had nine sacks in 2021. They didn't really address it. Like, they got one guy, like one recruit that came in that's known to be an edge rusher. But he's a freshman. Like, it's still got some work to do with him. you got to get creative in getting pressure this year. And I, I expect that Clark Lee will. I mean, obviously, defensive background uh, was linebacker's coach at Wake Forest and at uh, Notre Dame under uh, Mike Oko. So, like, he, he learned from one of the best. Uh, the linebacker, Patterson, coming over from Clemson. Uh, the cornerback, Lucian, from UConn. Vandy could start as many as 10 players that actually started in 2021. So experience should equal improvement, we think, I guess. I mean, you can't really be worse than they were last year. Uh, number 119 in PPA per drive. I mean, it just, whew. Uh, um, the projected favorites in two games, and they've got two games on the schedule that are projected to be toss-ups or games that are projected to be within one score. I I do like this team a little bit. Uh, let's talk about keys to the season, and then I'll I'll go through the schedule here. Uh, Likely going to see improvement on defense in year two, but how much? Uh, Almost anything's better than what they did last year. They were number 120 in overall success rate allowed last year. Uh, That's bottom bottom 11. I mean, just just awful. Uh, Can either Wright or Seals improve to give the offense a chance? 12 touchdowns, 13 interceptions combined last year. Got to fix that. Got to fix that. Long rebuilding job under Lee. The NIL and the portal make it even more difficult. Uh, they're going to lose their best players to big programs. They can't really restock easily because of the academics required. Uh, this is just a long rebuild, a really long rebuild here. But I think that they're going to stick with Clark Lee and give him time to actually get this thing figured out because, I mean, those last few years under Derek Mason, when everything started changing around college football, it was tough, very, very tough. The win total is at 2.5. To go over is plus 100. To go under is minus 130. Uh, don't worry about the division or the conference odds. Don't don't even. Don't even. 250 to 1. I mean, just, yeah. Uh, I've got them at 3 and 9. I think they're going to beat Hawaii. I think they're going to beat Elon. And I think they're going to beat uh, Northern Illinois on the road. And then after that, I don't see another win on the schedule. I mean, it is tough. Uh, at 3 and 1 to open. And then, yeah, 0 and 8 the rest of the way. Just brutal. Uh, the loss to Wake, like, they'll probably lose at home to Wake Forest. Um, after Northern Illinois, you got to play at Alabama. Then you got a bye week, Ole Miss at Georgia, at Missouri, bye week, South Carolina at Kentucky, Florida, Tennessee. That ain't an easy one on there. there there's not even a toss up on there. 
I mean, it is it's tough. Even Missouri, because that game's on the road, like at Missouri should be, you know, over a two touchdown favorite there at 17, 18 points, somewhere close to three touchdowns. It's tough, but I'm going to go over the two and a half because uh, I I believe in what Clark Lee is doing, and uh, and I think that they can get that win at Northern Illinois. Now, if you really want to be smart with it as far as gambling goes, uh, maybe you just fill them out and see if they can win those first two games, and then and then maybe you just bet on Vanderbilt at Northern Illinois rather than just having your money tied up forever, right? But regardless, there's ways to uh, to get around it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.